Beating the heat first at 10, an accused mischievous maverick embarked on a mission to give a warm welcome to one unsuspecting school community as they arrived to class today. Students at Nettleton Public Schools arrived to a sweaty situation as multiple air conditioning units were mysteriously unplugged before the students arrival. Good evening and thanks for being here. I'm Chris Carter. The repercussions of the mischievous act were felt by students and teachers who walked into stifling classrooms. Jonesboro police are investigating and have identified the person who is accused of committing the crimes at the junior and the senior high schools. Armani Williams talked to students about this today and Armani, uh, it had to be hot. It was so hot, Chris. The students told me that they were so hot in that classroom today and they were confused as to why someone would cut the AC off at their schools. I was sweating a little bit. For one, it was very hot. A scorching surprise Thursday morning. Uh, not for long. <laughs> People were in there and they had hoodies on and they took them off like almost immediately. Students and teachers were met with hot classrooms at Nettleton Junior High and high schools. Police said it was all because of this man captured on camera. Now I spoke with the superintendent of Nettleton Public Schools and she said someone came to the school property, walked around the schools, came to the breakers and shut it off. The quick switch of a handle impacted dozens. You got to keep the door shut. You can't like leave them open. So it's like all students bodies just in there. So it's just all hot all together. In the security footage, the flip of a breaker left some classrooms without air for hours overnight into Thursday morning. Just the fact that someone going unplug the AC like that is just crazy to me. The superintendent said the district electrician and an HVAC company figured out the problem and turned the breakers back on. But for some students, they are still upset someone turned off the AC in the first place. I'm mad. Especially while excessive heat warnings are still in effect. They were all getting hot. They were complaining about how hot it was. Now, the superintendent said they got the classrooms back to normal temperatures within a short period after turning the units back on, but it was still so hot. Yeah, I was outside there with you for a little bit today, Amadi, and it was just sweat coming down in yes. a matter of minutes. Oh. All right, thank you.